from Bangalore. Arrived here this morning by the overnight train from Pondicherry and we are so excited to be back in another city. <laughs> and while our favorite city is Mumbai, we don't know anything about Bangalore. So we asked you guys on Instagram and YouTube what's there to do in Bangalore and we're gonna spend the next few days seeing if we like your suggestions. Is it Bangalore or Bengaluru? I know it's officially Bengaluru, but is that, like, what percentage of people say what? Actually, welcome home for me because, uh, all you AVB, ABB? ABD. All you ABD fans out there know that Bangalore is my second home. Bangalore is known as the Garden City, so for our first stop, Somebody recommended Coven Park, and it's a Sunday afternoon, so it's the perfect time to be here. And this, we have been to Bangalore briefly, like 10 years ago. We didn't come here. This is like a state-of-the-art park. I know, like, a lot of people don't think of India and think of, like, beautiful green parks, but Bangalore, I think, is going to change our minds. And it's lovely. The sky is blue today. I will say the playgrounds are a little bit tough here. A lot of them are broken, um, so we promised Hayes a playground, we haven't yet found an adequate one. Um, but this is a lovely place. I'd love to come back with like a picnic. Right, now we're talking, now this is a real park because there's some soccer happening. Notice like less chai walls. I think I'm mostly disappointed the trains have had less chai and snacks than before. I don't know if it's a COVID thing or if we're just imagining it. So the fact that there's a chai guy walking through this park at the perfect moment. But, do you hear them? Yeah, do. Yeah. Yeah. Baby D. Baby D. Hey, coffee or chai? Chai. 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 Go chai. Go. He looks like Baby D. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. It started. Can I one quick? On the back. Yeah, quick, quick, yeah. Bye, bye. Mr. 360. Mr. 360. Mr. 360. Every day. But not really. Huh? Only looking. You'll come. So many of you recommended that we do our ABD prank in Bangalore, since that's where he played. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we have a video here that's really dumb, but fun. Um, we've been here about an hour, and we've gotten our first baby de Villiers, so that was pretty funny. Okay, let us know in the comments. Seen numbers on trees, what does it mean? Let us know, Bangalore people. Is that your name? Church Street. Very close, very close. Pete's favorite joke is when he's like bartering for this stuff, by the way, I know we're getting ripped off, is to barter for a little while and then say something higher. 100. 150. Never there gets old. Try it, because the reactions you get this? are amazing. What is our name? I'm Hayes. I'm here. Hey, Hayes. that we got over and over again was Church Street, which I believe is famous for the bars and restaurants. Unfortunately, we don't have babysitters anymore since my parents left. And I don't think we got any specific recommendations, so we're gonna head to one of our friend Vina's favorite pubs, which I think is just down the street. I thought all these people were uh, staring at me, but they're actually staring at this very nice Audi that's been uh, clamped on the side of the road. Oh, the clamp's coming off. Speaking of recommendations, um, Instagram is the easiest place to give us a suggestion or ask us a question, and that's also where we post more in real time. These videos are probably about a month behind at this point. So if you're not already, uh, follow us over there. I'll put the information on the screen. As 
we travel around places like Bangalore, it's nice to see cities come back to life a bit because for the past year, restaurants and businesses have been quiet as people have been laying low to cut costs. After all, the price of perishables and food has nearly doubled in the last year, and just in the last 30 days, rent is up 13%. Through the tech industry, a cornerstone of India's economy has lost trillions of dollars and laid off hundreds of people. Now people in India and worldwide are struggling to pay for essentials. Everything's linked in the global economy. Those companies failing have caused the S&P 500 and other stocks to crater, contributing to the $36 trillion loss in people's investments and savings. Now there's even a survey saying that 50% of Americans earning a six-figure salary are currently living paycheck to paycheck. But we all know that millionaires and CEOs aren't letting their money waste away in savings accounts. Turns out they're investing hundreds of millions into things not correlated to the usual investments. That way, even if stocks flatline, these non-correlated assets can continue to climb. That's why our long-term partner, Masterworks.com, the art investing platform, is pretty incredible because they give you access to the same assets without needing millions. And what we love about them is that they've already delivered real results, paying out $25.8 million to users like you. They make it incredibly easy to invest in paintings from legends like Banksy or Picasso. But like we said, the really cool part is the results. 11 exits now, with every single one returning a profit to their users. Masterworks has done so well that they've had to create a waitlist because paintings can sell out in minutes. But you guys can get priority access and skip the waitlist using the link in the description below. Thank you, Masterworks, and now back to Bangalore. Something that we've noticed and been really, really good is tons of garbage cans. So this is Pecos, which sort of is... Oh, it kind of feels like the Totos of Bangalore. Is that accurate? Mom, what time to your eye, Mommy? What time to your eye? My eyes are very red. I think they're infected. No, 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 I mean they go, they go tiny square. Oh, there's a tiny square on my face because it's focused. It's making sure my face is really clear. Okay, pardon the, the vlogging lesson. This is Pecos. It looks like it's been around for like 30 years. It's just off Church Street. Uh, and it's our kind of place. It's divey, it's no frills. No, the I beer is I, cheap. I, I, no, 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 no. Two months in India and the boy orders fresh lime soda like a pro. I've never been so proud. For you uh, younger viewers, you ain't gonna scooby doo what these are, but for everybody else, I got a whole stack of tapes back here, which is incredible. Remember your first ever tape? We got three all around the same time. It was Hanson, No Doubt, and Spice Girls. All Saints. Oh. Played it to death. Stumbling out the bar. Stumbling out the bar. Next recommendation was the first time like a decision had to be made. A lot of people suggest that we eat biryani, which I guess is like Andhra food. And uh, we are at Nagarjuna. What for Can I take a picture? Sure. We're at Nagarjuna. A lot of people also said to go to Makana. Uh, I picked Nagarjuna because it's very close to where we're staying, uh, not realizing that there's a Makana right across the street. I don't know if we made the right decision, but we've ordered some. I'm drinking the drink. <laughs> I don't know if we made the right decision, uh, but we're at Nagarjuna. We've ordered some chicken biryani and some mutton pepper fry or something, and we're eating on banana leaves, and we're gonna eat with our fingers, and it looks delicious. Now we're here a few days, so maybe there's another opportunity because a lot of people did say Makana, uh, but we're having biryani. It's night one, and we're getting to it, so let's see. Oh, all right, biryani is one of my favorites. Can I take a picture? Yeah. That was delicious. I'm also laughing because he said watch out for the comments below. Did he? I swear that it's like doing YouTube is rubbing off in a big time. Okay, it's a wrap on our first full day in Bangalore. We're back at our guest house, which we'll show you later. Um, that dinner was delicious. The biryani was better than the lamb, and I will say, it's one of those places where there's like a million servers and they're all just like staring at you eat. Like one guy was like two feet away from us, just intently staring at every bite we took, so 
if that's something that bothers you. <laughs> Maybe not for you, but we're used to it. And on that note, see you tomorrow. Oh, how, how does this work? How does, how does this work? I didn't get you the We order hair off? Yeah. Okay. We do run out of time and take this guy. Two idli, two vada, two coffee. Coffee bar, and this is legit. I have not been anywhere like this. It's uh, South Indian filter coffee, which I've had a million times, but I've never seen them do the milk. I guess I've never seen it like be made because he had the coffee first and then was like really frothing the milk, pouring it in. It's oh, it's sweet and it's delicious and it's stronger than usual. Sometimes I don't like South Indian filter coffee when it just tastes like sweet milk. That's delicious. We also got Italy and Vada. That's up there with the best I've had. Hayes is loving the idli, so I'm curious to taste this too. The coconut chutney here puts all of, not like here and here, like here in Bangalore, puts all other chutneys to shame. It's so delicious. And this is just our first stop. Hayes was really enjoying the idli, which is great because he's not always adventurous. Um, but then we met some lovely students who gave him chocolate which he's enjoying even more. Subscribe! Okay, for second breakfast, we are at uh, Shri Udipi Shri Krishna Bhawan. And we've got some dosas. Hayes has a plain dosa. And then we have something called a sagu dosa, which I've never heard of. But evidently sagu is a masala mixture popular here in Karnataka. It looks completely different than normal masala dosa. I'm really excited to try it. So just talk about like the beautiful coloration on this on these doses. Like we love a dosa like crispy. We always ask for extra crispy. I mean we didn't even request that here. And look how well they toast and crisp their doses. Just you, that's a, that's a thing of art. That right there is a piece of art. Like you take a photo of just that. Mmm, real strong, real strong cumin flavor. I'm okay. getting. All right. Mmm, it's really nice. Very creamy, very smooth. I like it a lot. I prefer that than. Like straight up masala dosa. So like Pete said, we always order our dosa extra crispy. And usually, or often, dosa is like really thin, so it's crispy like paper. This dosa is somehow both fluffy and crispy. And I want to see if you can hear it. You hear that? video strictly prohibited my own. The next recommendation was to visit Sri Big Bull Temple. There is a local name, however, all of the signage is saying Sri Big Bull. Uh, Big Bull is Nandi, which is a Hindu demigod. And so this place is used for the worship exclusively of that demigod, and it's got one of the biggest Nandi statues. What's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, a statue of a bull, one of the largest in the world just inside here. Um, you prayed. I was just joking, Daddy. Thank you. Say thank you. That was a really cool temple, so thank you to whoever recommended that. I'm really glad we visited. Also, it's, um, we walked along, not inside, another massive park. We just can't get over, like, how many trees there are here. And it just, it's so beautiful, and it really helps with the heat. You know they're cool at the Garden City. They do. It's living up. Now we're just gonna go home so Hayes can have a nap, and then we'll do some more exploring in the afternoon. By the way, I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody that commented with suggestions of what to do. It may not seem like a lot, but there was a time not too long ago where the thought of saying on a video, we're going to this city, give us recommendations, or putting that on Instagram or whatever, seemed comical because 
nobody was watching our videos. So the fact that now we can ask questions and suggestions and then get local information is just, I don't know, it's something we're really grateful for and we appreciate it. So thank you for helping us understand these cities better. And as always, continue to leave comments here, but Instagram continues to be the best way to kind of reach us directly and in real time. So just one more reminder, if you're not already, and you'd like to follow us on Instagram, uh, here is our handle. And we really appreciate all of the tips. All I was gonna say was keep them coming, but you said it. the lake we were trying to go to. Looks nice. And so we've come to the brewery. Somebody else recommended we try breweries. Okay, so we've come to this brewery called XOOX in this neighborhood called... I forgot. I guess we're in the neighborhood of Coromangala, which I guess is where like the tech workers and like young people go. Anyway, it's like Monday afternoon. This place is playing music that is so loud. It's really stressing me out. But I have nothing to be stressed about because it's Monday afternoon and we're back out of here. I have like rickshaw hair. Well, so, well, so do I. What I have left of it. I'm sure some people will let me know in the comments. Okay, next up. Several people told us where to eat biryani. Uh, if you're paying attention, we had biryani last night. That was chicken biryani at Nagarjuna. Somebody said to eat mutton, mutton biryani at Nagana. Nagana. Jason's just learned about lollipop chicken and he thinks it's a lollipop. Anyway, we're here. We're having mutton biryani. We really did try to go sightsee or go somewhere Hayes could run around this afternoon. It didn't work out, so now we're just eating and drinking, which is what we do best. Biryani. What day are you drinking? Second night in a row. And I'm not complaining. This time we're getting, we got the mutton. And uh, it's very, very good. I would say that it's just like, it's totally on par with what we had last night. Different, different. Good morning, uh, it's the next morning and we still have a few days in Bangalore and we're gonna do some more exploring, but before we do that, I did wanna show you where we're staying because I would highly recommend it. It is called Terrace Gardens Guest House and this is a very like lived in room tour. Example one, the Legos we bring everywhere. Uh, but anyway, this is Terrace Gardens Guest House and I think it's Bangalore's first ever B&B from 1996. We've got a super comfy bed, a couch where you could sit and relax, but our favorite travel hack is to spin it around and make it a bed for Hayes, he can't fall out. We thought we were past spinning it around actually and we didn't spin it around the first night he did fall out, so for all those parents out there. This, well thank you for demonstrating Hayes. <laughs> It's perfect when you don't have an extra bed and you don't want to sleep with your kicky toddler. How's the bed? Super comfy. I mean, and on it. if you've traveled in India, you know that bouncing Mom, on a I bed is I not a guarantee. Mommy, 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 can I get when you can wood cover? Sometimes they're very hard, so there you go. It's a comfy bed. And then the bathrooms are also very nice. Very kind of like modern, and the shower is hot the whole time, which again is not a given. Okay, the best part about this place is the setting. It's the super... No, 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 no. The best part of the house is how they have parrots. I mean, it is true. There are lots of, like, animals dotted around in statues, but the best part is that it's the super residential location. The street is beautiful. There's greenery everywhere. We've been able to walk. Location-wise, I don't know the neighborhood name. It's near Garuda Mall. It's not far from Mahatma Gandhi Metro Station. And it's just a really peaceful, residential, beautiful place to come back to. And in the mornings, you actually go up to the beautiful green terrace and they serve delicious South Indian breakfast. We've been very happy here, but we've got more exploring. Today. 